So guys, I know I don't usually shoot YouTube videos in the car, but I got some time. I haven't done anything today because that trip wore us out. We didn't get home till late. I had a migraine this morning when I got up. But what was in my mailbox when I arrived home is this. Remember I told you guys I ordered the Bob Terrazula um, mass drop uh, collaboration that they did. So mass drop released this. We're just going to do a quick look at it while we're here in the car. So we'll address a couple things first. The images that a lot of people were expecting to get their knives, they were expecting the polished bronze hardware instead of the stone wash. Um, I'm fine with this. I think it looks really good like that anyway. Um, pocket clip on it is kind of a the pocket clip on it is kind of a, I don't know what you, it's kind of a hybrid. So you have, it's basically a milled spring clip, which hopefully takes care of all that. Now, then you have the blade, S35BN, the G10 milled scales, titanium liners, titanium hardware. So now what we're going to talk about is there was a little bit, you see the marking there? You see that it's missing the Terrazula marking his brand logo there's been a lot of people complaining about that on the mass drop forums i don't really see it as being a big deal i like it like that um thumb plate all that but we're going to do a full review of this before too much longer where we you know after i've used it after i've sharpened it carried it i carried it all day today it's fairly smooth and it is it's an attractive knife now my friend Matt doesn't like the fact it's got some sharp edges and stuff like that. I, I don't... They're not too bad on this. There is a couple little spots right here. Right there. Right there. Right there at the... Right past the swedge. Just forward of the swedge. There's a little sharp. It's a little sharp right there. Not here. Just right there. And mine did, if we can get a look at it, come with pretty asymmetrical grind. But as we know, I know a guy. So, pretty smooth. I'm gonna talk about some stuff when I do the actual video. We'll look at all the stuff that came with it. I will say, action on it is really, really smooth. Small little flipper that kind of just disappears after deployment. You can deploy thumb stud. You can thumb flip it. Got a nice little fuller on both sides so not an unattractive knife just about that's in my wheelhouse of size that I like only thing I've that I see and, and Nick Shabazz I think has kind of converted me it's kind of thick it's kind of thick behind the edge um, it's it's not ever gonna be that really super fine slicing tool that you want you can see it from there from the profile of here I'll turn you back around so you can see that that profile across that it's pretty thick across the spine especially at the tip um, and it doesn't have a lot of room pretty thick across the spine I dated a chick that was like that once <laughs> but uh yeah you can see I mean it's an attractive knife there was a lot of it's, here let me turn this around we'll talk about some of this so if you guys follow the mass drop forums uh the the stuff that they you know all the the comments on their drops People have been complaining and complaining and complaining. Oh, the, all the billboarding and all the the markings and stuff like that. They're on these blades. And then, you know, Mass Drop needs to find a way to clean it up so it doesn't look like a billboard. And then they leave something off. Less, there's less engraving on this knife. It's cleaner. And people are complaining. Oh, they're actually, they gave us a $20 rebate on it because, um, like the hardware didn't match what was in the pictures, which to me doesn't matter. Mine would have gotten stonewashed anyway. But then you've got these guys that are complaining. It's like, well, I don't, I don't even want it now because it doesn't have the ter Terrazula. I was like, make up your fucking minds, guys. Right? You're like a bunch of, they're like, like a bunch of kids that just they complain about one thing. And then when they get their way, then they complain about something else. And, and they want it back the way it was. So the only issue I see with this knife... Um, I've heard some people talking about some lock stick. I don't have any lock stick on this. I didn't hear a pop. Um, the only issue I see is I like 
I like a bigger flipper tab when you're holding. It just feels like I'm gonna go forward of the uh, of the flipper tag because I've gotten so used to other knives that have a really prominent flipper tab that acts almost like a guard and then have a forward finger choil of that. So uh, it's just a matter of getting used to. I do I do like how it actuates. With, you, you can do this slow, you know, you have that option of, of opening it a little bit slower with that titanium thumb disc. So all in all though, this is just about, it's a really decent size for EDC. It's not heavy, nice and light. The milled G10 was done really well. Um, nice pattern on it, consistent on both sides. The titanium hardware looks great. The pocket clip, the pocket clip sticks a little proud there for me, but it really does not produce a hot spot that I'm feeling. It, it's, I think this is one of those ones that's gonna, this is one of those pocket clips, Elliot has done some of these, like these hybrid clips where you wind up with a little bit of one and the other. But when, uh, after I've carried this for a few days, I'll probably have to sharpen it, like I said, asymmetrical edge grind, uh, but I will get it all put together and I will show you what comes in a box, how it's packaged, all that stuff. So, all right guys. Just a quick video, like a uh, day after the trip, it was, it's really hot today. It's really hot today. Isn't that right, Kayan? It's hot today, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, she said yeah. So, all right guys, that's it. Like I said, I appreciate you guys all watching the, the skating vlog, my daughter's skating. It, uh, it was awesome, she did so good. Uh, everything came out fine for her, uh, taking first place and all that it was it was great so um i am going to start a patreon for her uh, if any of you guys are interested i will start a patreon for her to help pay for her skating i've already had a couple people contact me i'd mentioned it in a live feed and i had a couple people contact me about it so uh just keep your keep your eyes open for that i'll put a i'll put a link to it somewhere maybe i'll do a video about it specifically so all right guys i gotta take my daughter to her after school math book she does advanced math after school. So today's her hour and a half of additional math.